Hey Stella's peeps. Good morning. It's Allie. Uh, we have here Pablo's. So I figured I would make some videos for you. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to start by holding the middle button and it'll say port a filter. So then you dry out your port a filter, make sure there's no grinds or any water in there, and then you angle it to match that little thing. There we go. And this will tear the port a filter. Great. Next we go to dose our shot. And if you can, leave it in there so that you have this hand free to hold the first button. And that'll, now we're telling it we want to weigh the coffee. Okay, I'm going to set this down so I can tamp really quick. Okay, nice flat tamp. Going to weigh it. 17.1, so that um, fits within our recipe. Again, I'm gonna remind you. So I give you guys the recipe, 16.5 to 18 grams in for your dose. Um, so then we have 32 to 36 out grams, and then in um, 26 to 30 seconds. So we'll lock it in left to right. And again, these are just different ratios, so you can actually hit either. And then we'll watch our time and the grams. So we want the espresso to fall around 10 seconds. Oh, I'm taking a video. Great, and we want it to line up around 20 seconds, 10 grams. That's kind of one of the check marks I look for. So let's check the numbers. So again, 17.1 in, 32.5 out. That fits our two to one ratio. It might be just a tiny bit tighter on our machine. And it happened in 29 seconds. So I bet this would be a good tasting shot. Pretty good. All right, so um, I just want to talk about a couple of things. So if your shot is under extracted, meaning that it happens super quickly. So maybe your numbers are 20, 21, 22, all the way up to 25. You're going to want to make an adjustment. And that adjustment is going finer so that you have finer particles and that it'll take longer for the water to extract all of the um, solids and flavor from that. If your shot is over extracted, meaning it's over 30 seconds, it's probably going to taste really bitter, it won't have that beautiful crema color, it'll look dark, um, you're going to have to make an adjustment going coarser so that the particles are bigger and the water can pass through faster. I hope that makes sense. I know it's like hard. Um, to comprehend, but once you're in the weeds and you're dialing in, I'm sure all of this will make more sense. So let me know if you have any questions and I'll be sending you more. So this is a video for Stella's from Allie from Pablo's um, and this is on milk steaming. So on both sides of the machine there are steam wands. On the bottom of the steam wand there's four little holes that the steam comes out. So when we're steaming milk, you want to start fully submerged, then there's two parts to steaming milk. First there's aeration, and then um, there's submerge. So when you start it, you pull down to expose one of those holes, and that's what's called aeration. And so it'll sound like paper ripping, it's kind of an intense, loud sound. So that's water, that's why it's a little bit bubbly. Um, but that does demonstrate the loud ripping sound that we're going for. And so after the aeration, once the milk gets hot, 
you want to lift it up just slightly so that all four of those holes are underneath the surface. Here, I can kind of show you. So, I'm not sure if you can see that nozzle, but here's where you start. You pull down to aerate, and then you fully submerge. And if you don't do any sort of crazy tilt or anything, just that up and down motion should get you a vortex and that your milk will be nice and homogenized. So. All right, I'm about to make a latte.